Well, it's finally here on the Epic Games Store. Rocket League is officially free to play. I'm going to be checking out the new Epic Games client on the store for Epic Games Launcher and checking out all the differences and see what's uh, what's up with this new this new game basically. I'm hoping that, you know, with season 1 coming around, we actually see a lot of new changes and a lot of new updates in the near future. So let's jump right in and uh, get this game. I'm going to have to re-download it actually since it's a new client um, and see what the differences are and, you know, maybe I'll shift over to the Epic Games client if they impress me. I don't know, let's just get right into it. I'm going to get the game and uh, let's just see where we end off. Alright, so the patch for the free-to-play update is finally here while we're waiting for the game to download. Um, as you can see, the headlines are Rocket League is now available for download through the Epic Game Store. That's what we're doing right now. The new challenges system is live, including challenges specifically for new players. PlayStation Plus is no, no longer needed to play online. And Season 1 is now live on all platforms. So, the biggest thing, I guess, is going to be checking out the challenges. And also, just the differences in the client to see if there's anything new. Or if anything's been removed. Like, specifically for me, I'm very con uh, concerned about the workshop. Uh, obviously, it won't, probably won't be called workshop, hopefully, but it'll become something else if there's any plans for modding in the future. Now, speaking of modding in the future and what's going to be happening, I actually have a new website I'm in the middle of designing. It's not quite finished, obviously, but we're just looking into uh, a nice, clean way of getting everything going here. As you can see, uh, use code Lethemir in the support a creator, you know, just, just, just saying. It's right here. But uh, as you can see, we've got the nice little pages here. We can go to my custom maps and we're in the middle of uploading all of these to this uh, online drive here. Uh, but you can go into any of these and click in so if you want to click on portal. And there you go. As we click into portal, you can see there's a description of the, the game mode and a few pictures here. You can scroll through and uh, the recommended settings uh, for what you should play on the map. And then I, I made a little quick uh, basically link to the videos where we showcase these so if you want to check them out. Um, what's really nice about this is if you go back to all maps here, you can actually click by standard and it'll actually list all of the maps that have standard in the, the tags here. So um, basically we're going to have a list of all the tags at the top here once we're finished and you can just click standard or race or, or sumo or hide and seek prop on all that stuff. And basically all of the ones that are tagged as that will come up and you can just quickly search for them and then uh, go through here and download them. So I hope you guys enjoyed the little sneak peek of the uh, the website. It's going to be up and running soon. We're trying to get it nice and clean for you guys uh, so that it's very, very easily. As you can see, I haven't actually put a <laughs> description or anything here. I'm in the middle of adding all that. Um, but yeah, like I said, we'll be keeping you guys updated on, on when this is going to be finished or when it's available for you guys. But I'm just chipping away at it with my editor. And uh, I'm really excited to see where this goes and what we can do with it. All right, so the game is officially done. Let's l run it up for the first time. I'm kind of excited. All right, so this is the exact same as the uh, the new cinematic that happens on the the game when you load it up, no matter what you have for an account. But this will be a fresh account, I believe. So we have to watch this cinematic, which I really like. It is nice to have this little thing that helps you as a new player see what the regular buttons are. At least default. So it says right trigger to drive. And then jump. Is it actually possible to miss that? What what happens if I don't boost? Oh, it just it just does it for you. I didn't click anything. <laughs> okay, so it'll just do it for you. It's just trying to help you. So jump here. And then dodge forward with a an A button. Now, there really is no downside to trying the game, obviously, since it is free to play uh, now. So, I do recommend you trying it out. Um, no, I've played before. Is this your first time playing Rocket League? If not, I'm just going to do it as if I'm the first time playing. Hopefully, that doesn't mess anything up down the road, but I'll hit no. Alright, so since this is your first time setting up Rocket League, any other accounts you link will... Okay, perfect. Yeah, so this is basically where you, link, you can link everything else. But for no, new players, obviously, you don't need to do, be doing that. All right, so you can choose between, oh, this is kind of nice. You can choose between three different cars at the start. So this is all you get at the beginning, I believe. Oh, wow, this is all new. Okay, so there's chat messages in the top left. Uh, you can press T on the computer, obviously, to uh, type. Uh, y is for team chat, and U is for party chat. 
Uh, the scoreboard at the top is obviously useful for when you're playing the game. The left score is always going to be yours. The play feed over on the right, top right, it basically shows uh, any shots on target, any center balls, uh, any assists, uh, demolitions as well. Um, if you go fast enough in the game for supersonic, uh, which is when you have trails behind you. Um, oh, we're actually just fully playing. So you can see I, I got a trail behind me. Um, oh, I got a scoreboard on here. These are all default controls. Once I'm purple trail like that, I can go behind a, a car and demo it like this. Um, I am just obviously listing this for people who are new to the game. Uh, <laughs> get this off the corner here. But I'm pretty sure they changed the default controls. But I guess we have to play through this first thing here. Um, now I will, we'll pause this real quick um, and change my settings. You're now online on the Epic Social Planet. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna change these settings to what I actually use. Uh, that way, it's not as weird. Um, and also, if like you are new to the game, these camera settings are very, very important uh, to change right away. Not to mine specifically, but just in general, I would switch it. Um, same with the dead zones and everything. Control presets. So there's actually a control preset. What is this? So this is legacy or standard. So the new thing I believe is that left trigger is the new air roll. So when you're when you're on the floor, it won't do anything, obviously. But when you are, uh... oh, the scoreboard is still on my air roll button. <laughs> uh, but when you're on uh, on the ground, obviously you can't air roll. But I don't like using the same button as. Uh, as my, it's kind of weird, as my drift button to hold air, or not drift button, as my reverse. Because I want to air roll the second I'm off the ground. I need to get rid of the scoreboard here. <laughs> Let me fix that real quick. Alright, there we go. So I don't know if we have to just play this one match or, or what, but as you can see, my title is just Real Lethemir. Someone stole my name on the Epic Game Store. It's all good. So it gives us two minutes to play a game out, and uh, we'll see what happens next. So it should try to, I guess, just introduce us slowly. I do like this new uh, new tutorial. It helps out players a lot. And they made a new bot bot difficulty so that it's helpful for these intros here. So they're they're basically useless. Uh, but if you're new to the game, you'll probably be basically useless too, <laughs> because this game is hard. Uh, but it's very rewarding when you get better. So let's just. Uh, get the goal here I don't know if it's like first or whatever I think it's just literally yet yeah, it's just literally a two-minute game so let's let it play out and see what happens okay so five seconds left let's see what happens uh, this is like literally like if it's a fresh new game this is what it's gonna do for you when you first play which is nice um, should be a final goal here and let's see what they what they teach you next because they told you how to drive and what 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 everything is on the screen but uh, let's see if it Give us any more information. There's a little post celebration, obviously, for people who are familiar. But you can dance around here if you're the winner. And uh, yeah, I think I saved the replay a few times. <laughs> All right, so now it's going to continue. Congratulations, you completed your first match. Your rewards can be found in the garage inventory. New driver challenges unlocked. So these are the new driver challenges. This is if you're a new player. So this is what I'm talking about. This is what's going to show up when you're a new player and uh, what you can do to help unlock new stuff. I think they said the challenges were... I honestly like completely dismissed that. There is the new Rocket Pass though, so let's jump into this first. Um, welcome to the Rocket Pass. This is your path to 70 tiers of items and rewards. Complete challenges, earn XP, and unlock unique items just for playing. Each tier beyond 70 unlocks rare painted or even additional uh, special edition versions of the Rocket Pass items. So basically once you, uh, once you get past level 70, you can unlock a bunch of different colored stuff like gold explosions or wheels. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm not really going to go through this, obviously, because there is like an entire... Uh, there's videos entirely on what's in here. Uh, let, me, let me turn the music off, actually. So they actually... So, so they actually don't actually put you on full quality when you load up, which is interesting. I guess they just kind of keep it level. But um, if you like playing the game at super shiny mode, here it is. Um, let's move on to profile okay I'm looking for challenges well the Jaeger pack is here which is a or not this is a starter pack so you get the endo the guy in wheels or gating wheels neothermal friction and 500 credits 
it's not really that much, especially if you're an older player. But this is for people who are new, obviously. Uh, it's just a, a little friendly invite to the item system. And the Jaeger pack is a bunch of titanium white stuff and a thousand credits. So it gives you a few things to buy stuff. Uh, there's different stores here. Uh, this one shuffles every uh, two days, usually at the top. And this one at the bottom sh shuffles every day. Um, it's just random stuff. And you can click on it to preview it and kind of check out what it is. Um, the esports tab is for the esports teams. I really highly suggest you get into the esports if you are new to the game and you're checking out uh, this game for the first time. Uh, the esports is hype. It's one of the best esports I would say in the world for me. Obviously, I'm a little biased, but just watching it is a pure. It's a pure sport basically when you're watching it. It's really cool. But yeah, each of these have different credit systems, so just be careful uh, if you want to, uh, you know, buy certain things. Also, here's the supported creator, by the way. It's in the top corner. You can see with the right trigger, you can type in my name here, L-E-T-H-A-M-Y-R, and uh, you'll support me for 14 days. So if it runs out, just uh, put it back in there. <laughs> so obviously, there have been uh, videos that I've made even about the tournament, but it is still here, and there are actually tournaments already running daily. Um, so far, I can see only 3v3. I'm hoping in the future that they bring out some 2v2 or 1v1 and you know maybe have specific titles for that it doesn't seem like that's the case so far i think it might only be 3v3 but it'd be really cool if there's 1v1 tournaments and stuff like that and uh but i just love this this is really cool like this, this whole section is really nice um there are four different cups i've shown it on my other account uh that you can redeem items for and these items are actually previewable here um once again i've also covered all these items in the past so I'm not going to go into the details of those, but the, you, you can definitely check those out yourself and uh, mess around with the tournaments a little bit. If you want to create a tournament yourself, you can and play with your friends or join someone else's on streams, uh, which I'll be doing more of these in the future. It looks really fun. Uh, you know, maybe I don't know if we can put up our own items for uh, for rewards yet, but it'd be really cool in the future if we could. And as you can see, you can do a uh, previous history of what maps or matches you've played or tournaments you've created. I'm going to be honest with you, I actually don't know where the <laughs> the challenges are. I am seriously trying to figure it out. So I think maybe in the future I'll go through all of these options here and sort of talk about, you know, the, the ups and downs of certain options and what you should pick to optimize your game if you're looking to be more professional in the game or, uh, you know, just, you know, improve slowly but surely. Um, so I don't really want to go through all this in this video, just basically, uh, you know, explore it a little bit, look into the quick chats and stuff, and, uh, set the settings how you want in the audio and the video, and, uh, let's try to find these challenges. I can't seem to find them anywhere. I'm not sure where the new driver challenges are. Alright, so I just got off the call with my editor. He's thinking maybe if we play a casual game here, uh, it'll give us a, uh, a challenge or something. So let's just jump into a new game and see what we get. Okay. So we'll just play through this quick game. Uh, I'm not actually going to include the gameplay uh, since it's just me playing a rather new person. But I won't. I won't. Uh, I won't cross their soul. I guess <laughs> I'll just play it out and uh, see if the new driver challenge is unlocked. See if I can show them that you can flip forward like that. Let's see if I can get them to recognize it. Hit it forward like this. I'm gonna try to help this guy learn, but like not intentionally. You know what I mean? So I'm going to hit this to him. Oh, no. Yes, good save, good save. All right. Got to figure out how to turn around here. All right, come on in. Nice shot. There you go. So he's uh, he's learning to drive forward. You can see, like, at the beginning, you might be a little bit slow, but it's slow and steady wins the race here. So as you uh, start to improve... And uh, learn the mechanics. He starts to like flip forward. I can show him maybe that I'll beat him if I go faster with the flips. Like this. I'm hoping that maybe he'll start to flip around or something. I'm going to roll this at him and see what happens. A good save. Alright, now I'm going to give him like a little bit of a... A lot. Oh no, he's come pushing up, he's pushing up. This could be hard. Go buddy, go buddy. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Oh man. I didn't even want that. I didn't want to go in. I thought he was going to like drive up and hit it. So, as you can see, you can boost. Get in there. No, so close. 
You can get it, I believe. No! <laughs> oh no! All right, here we go, here. Last chance, last chance. You got this. No! <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You got this, go, 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 go. Yay, there we go. All right, maybe I will include this. This is pretty, this is pretty fun. I'm just trying to help this guy out and try and get him to, to, to learn the, the basics. All right, one last goal for the road, maybe. Oh, he came up. That was a good challenge. That was really good. All right, that was the game. Uh, so he did win. It's a nice little, uh, nice little way to introduce this guy to the game. Hopefully, and he enjoys it. Um, let's see if we actually get any challenges here. So you can ready up and actually play again. But we'll move on here. I don't know where the challenges are. Honestly, I've looked everywhere. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> So there are new driver challenges somewhere. Maybe if I get premium, are they really gonna make me do this? I might have to, uh... No, it doesn't say. Okay, I seriously can't find them anywhere. So there are challenges, but I'm not sure what's going on with that. Maybe they're not live yet. Um, but they will be there and you can get new items and new rewards. Uh, you can actually see in the rocket pass, they're similar to these little uh, dodecahedrons here. Uh, you basically get a random uh, item of that rarity. So this is uncommon. I don't know if in the future you get other rarities. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, there we go. So now you get into rare and then possibly, uh, yeah, we get to the very rare and then possibly import. I'm not sure if, yeah, maybe in the future you can get uh, import ones or something like that. But uh, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, basically dive into it. If you're, if you're learning about the game for the first time or you're finally going to try it out, I would just give it a try and, you know, jump in and, and see where the game takes you. Uh, the last thing I will check though is in custom games. I did notice there is no workshop page. So I'm a little concerned about that. Um, so it would seem that it would be wise that we did start making that website. So stay tuned for that in the future. Um, and if you are new to my channel, I do custom videos all the time with custom maps. I've made over 60 maps in Rocket League. Uh, definitely check out some of the ones in the description if you want to check out some of the, the, the more recent ones. Uh, but yeah, I, I just keep making maps. I have eight on the go right now. And uh, yeah, just jump into the game, enjoy it, and uh, let me know if you guys are trying out for the first time and what you guys think of the game. Okay, so looking through the rest of the patch notes, it says that the challenges have been improved and they will be unlocked in stages. Um, it says stage one is available with today's update, but I don't quite see it. I'm not sure why. Um, and it also says they have new driver challenges specifically designed for new players in Rocket League. Um, it says these will be up visible to new players in the challenges menu and widget. Maybe they weren't just pushed live. I'm not sure what was going on there. I don't really see them in a in a menu, so uh, definitely check that out if you if you haven't seen them. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I'd add that little thing because uh, obviously I didn't have time to read through this. I don't want to bore you guys with this. If you want to see this, this will be linked in the description. Um, so there's all the new changes finally uh, with all the season 14 competitive rewards and stuff. Until next time, guys. Have a good one.